Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It has been a very long time since I've uploaded recently. Since been since January, um, pretty much when I made the American Airlines 747 video, make sure to check that out. Um, so yeah, it's been over five months now, so I thought it'd be time to do another video. Sorry about the, um, long wait. I've been kind of busy lately with school and stuff like that. Today we got some brand new models. We have two NG models and one Gemini Jet model. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and see ya. Okay, so starting off with our first model, I have three models today. One is a um, Gemini Jet and two are NG models, like I started off the video by saying. We got to start off with the um, JetBlue A321. Um, this is in the Defining Moment livery. This is a really cool livery. I really like the dark blue here with the pattern on the back. It will look really well. Um, the registration is November 982JB, so it looks really well. Now we are going to move on to the Gemini Jet model, which is a United Airlines Boeing 737-700. Now, these models have already been open. I got these a while ago, so we're not going to be having a true unboxing. But here is the United one. If you want to pause the video and read that, go right ahead. Just some basics about the 737. Um, max take off width is 154,000 pounds. Cruising speed is 518 miles and the range is 3,461 miles. It has 128 seats, which is mixed seating, so it depends on what airline decides to buy the aircraft. If it's Ryanair, we all know they're gonna push as many seats as they possibly can. Um, with airlines like United, like the Core 3, like United, um, Delta, and American, they're gonna have a mix between um, business, first class, or economy. I don't think they do it first class anymore. I think it's just called business now. But yeah, that's the United um, 737-700. Now, moving on to personally my favorite right now. It's a big one. Is the United Airlines Star Alliance 10 years 777-200. Now, this is also made by NG, as you can see by the box. This is a really nice model. It looks really well. Once I get these models on the table, I think you guys are going to really like them. Um, the 10 years is from 1997 to 2007. Now, when Star Alliance first started, it was Air Canada, Scandinavian, Thai, and United. If I'm missing any, I'm sorry about that, but that's what I believe um, started off Star Alliance. And Star Alliance is just basically like one world. And one world consists of pretty much um, American Airlines, Delta, and British Airways. There, there are more than that, but those are really the ones that um, stand out. This is a really nice model. I really like how um, NG designed the 777-200. Uh, no complaints so far with it. It looks really well. So yeah, let's stop talking and get to the unboxing. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have the JetBlue Airbus A321-200 in the Defining Moment livery. As you can see already, this model is very well detailed. Just by zooming in on it, you can see a lot of stuff. As you can see, towards the top, sorry, let me get this camera stable. Okay. As you can see right there, we got the two antennas on the back. Very well detailed rudders and air lines. Right there towards the end of the plane, that little black dot, that'll be your APU. Auxiliary power unit, that's basically the aircraft battery. It's not really a battery, it just adds additional um, electricity to the plane. Right there, as you can see, is the Wi-Fi dome. Now, these wings are beautifully detailed. I'm very impressed with NG. As you can see, with all these small details, and even just color, how they did it properly. I mean, I have never seen an Airbus A321 so well modeled. Let's scroll out. As you can see, towards the very end, you can barely see it because you see like a line, it says defining moment. Engine is just a, like a, a warning for like people who are doing maintenance on it. Let's turn this model around. As you can see, the front of the plane is very well detailed as long as the engines a lot of companies tend to forget about the engines and they just make it a, a whole solid plate of um, plastic instead of actually modeling the um, the wing turbines in the air in the engine. That's one of the reasons why I really like NG because they don't cheap out. They you get what you pay for and you get really high details. 
this model for what I paid for, I would have paid twice as much because this model is amazing. I got this off of, um, I believe it's Amazon for about $30. That it's, it's worth way more and I highly suggest you guys go buy this model. It looks really well done. Landing gear, as you can just tell a little bit, it looks really well. Now, let me flip the model. Now, by the way, this stand does not come with the model. It's in front of one of my Jonah Chess models, but it fits fine. As you can see, it says JetBlue. And then the landing gear is just so well modeled. So that's it for the JetBlue AC21. Let's move on to United 737. Okay, here's the United 737 Jet 700. This is the um, smallest of today's regular 737 flying commercially. Now, occasionally you see, um, like in Canada, I know they get the 200 version for um, smaller runways and gravel runways. Um, but really today, the core that you would see would be the 700, 800, and the 900. And now you're going to start seeing a lot more max aircraft coming in. Um, right now, the only aircraft that I believe has been approved by the FAA is the Max 8. Max 9 and Max 10 are still waiting to be approved. But right now, these are the three that you're probably going to be seeing flying. Now, United right now, they do have some max states. I've actually been on one. They're very nice aircraft, and luckily, it did not crash. So, as you can see, this aircraft is very well detailed. Luckily, it did not come broken in the box like Gemini Chess is no known for. Now, this aircraft just looks amazing with the wings. Get my pencil. With the wings, they put a lot of detail into it. The wingless looks really good. Um, there is something about this end -lit, winglet that doesn't look right compared to regular models, but I don't know, it might just be me or it might be something that Gemini just did. The nose looks pretty good. It looks a little pointy, but otherwise it looks really good. The model, the paint color, beautiful, looks very close to United, which is how it should be. Registration looks good. Wi-Fi dome looks very good. Beacon Lakes looks good. It's a very good model. I highly recommend you buy it. Now. All right. So now we can get a good look at the engines. The engines look really good. The um, landing gear looks really good too. The um, detail on with the um, um, I forgot what you call them on um, the windshield. They look really good. The um, left one door looks really good too. I mean, I have no complaint for this model. It's a very good model. It was very well designed. Now let's look at the bottom of it. Bottom of the aircraft looks good, really good. As you can tell, you always have the Gemini Jets logo at the bottom. Landing gear looks good. Um, detail on the bottom is amazing. I mean, these models are just well designed and well made. I mean, there are no complaints. I kind of wish that Skymore can add a little bit more paint to them. So I can look more detail. But at the end of the day, you're buying a plastic model. Which is not a bad thing. I mean, that's how I pretty much started off all my collection with Skymark's models, as you can see. But, there's just something about the wonderful and scale die cast models that I just love so much. So here's the United... 737-700. I recommend you get get it. Now let's move on to the big one. Okay, so right here is the United Airlines 777-200 Star Alliance 10 year plus livery. Now this livery looks really well done. The engines, they look a little bit dark to me compared to the um, Gemini Jets engines. You guys can probably see. But I'm not really complaining because everything about the model looks really well done. Um, as you can see in the back, got the 10 years plus right there. Um, it's hard to see, but it's a 1997 to 2007. Now, remember, this was United Airlines' old livery before I believe they merged with Continental when Continental got bought out. So, if you're wondering why you may see United, the um. Um, the little um, UU, that is because that was their old livery. Now, as we all know from today, when they upload, when they um, updated their um, 2019 livery, I should not be holding it like that. 
you got the Continental logo, but it's been designed by United, so it has a little bit of them and a little bit of Continental. Star lines, the print looks really well done. Registration looks really well done. The um, I believe it would be the um, right floor door at the end of the plane. That looks really well done too. The wings look beautiful. I'm not complaining. Engines, I really like, like the detail. Antennas look really good on the Model 2. Now, if I didn't already say this, um, NG was nice enough to give us a little stand. That way, we don't have to keep using this um, this stand. I'm not really a big fan of Gemini Jet stands. They're kind of um, cheaply made, and they're not really that sturdy. Got the um, Star Alliance livery, which you see on every single United aircraft. The nose of the aircraft looks really well done. Sorry about that. The um, landing gear looks really well done too. Engines, the detail in the engines is unbelievable. I'm really happy with how they designed this. Give you a little turn. That's what I was talking about with the um, UU United. Now let's take a look at the other side of the aircraft. Landing gear looks really well done for a 777. I don't know why, but a lot of model plane companies tend to mess it up, which I don't know why it's that hard for them to do it properly, but it looks really well done. I'm very impressed. Got the bottom antenna right there. Cargo doors, shipping doors, luggage doors. I mean, this model looks beautiful. So yeah, that's it for that model. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoy these three models. Like I said, NG models, NG model, and Gemini Jeff. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more videos like this. Make sure to subscribe to help me out get more model planes like this. Bye.